What is up guys, it's Midwest Raider coming at you with another video for my channel. Today I have a really good one. I have an installation tutorial hookup and how to get the ProRec Club 4000 all hooked up, all set up and ready to go for your mobile gig or even setting up at home. If you guys haven't seen the video about putting together the array speakers, please check that one out first because there will be some assembly required on those array speakers to get them all put together before you can get to this video. So I put a link in the description below for that if you need to go to that first and then come back to this video, guys. Thanks. All right, guys. So thanks for tuning in to Midwest Raider, DJ Martini Midwest, DJ Martini Services on Facebook and DJMartiniMidwest.com. Check them all out and thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing, guys. You guys have been all positive all the time and all I do is I try to help bring you good review videos bring you honest review videos as well, and just try to help people uh, make some decisions out there on getting some equipment. So thank you guys so much. Love to bring this Pro Rec Club 4000 to you. It, it's, it's looking pretty positive. I can't wait to make the full review, overview, sound test, uh, my thoughts on the next video coming up soon. So mash that uh, notification button so you know when that Pro Rec review comes out. It's coming out pretty soon going to get it all tested out, figured out, listen to it and tell you what I got, what I think about it guys here really soon. So thank you guys. So today I'm going to show you guys how to hook this system up because I always get questions on how to hook up to the powered sub. Uh, it's a little bit different uh, in different setups. So I will show you, I always get questions on how you hook up a device to this system and how you hook up the system in general. So I wanted to be a little bit proactive with the ProRec system and show you guys how to get that all hooked up. So let's go ahead. I'm going to start a little dry, show you how to set up straight from the tripod with all the equipment that you get and then get into how to hook it up with the sub in the next segment. So let's start with the tripod guys. I know everybody's probably used a tripod, but if you haven't, bear with me guys and I'll show you guys how to get it done really fast. All right, so this is a tripod, guys. Pretty basic, there are some clamps here and some tension knobs here that you need to twist, but you, it'll be loose here and you're gonna go ahead and set this up according to however you need it. So set it up according to how you need it and then go ahead and tighten that down with the clamp here. And there's also a clamp up here and a tension knob up here. Go ahead and loosen that. And you're gonna pull out your pole and your pole has some holes in it. So go ahead and pull those out. Notice there's some holes in it. So you're gonna go ahead and pull that out and you also have a pin. I call it the safety pin here, guys, right here. Pull that pin out and you're gonna match them up with the lines here. And this is how I set it up. I always use this pin and I'll put it on the, I put, I'm putting this on the highest, but you can put it on however you want. And then I'm going to slam that pin against the frame there and have it resting on the pin and then I'm gonna tighten it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten it right there. That's how I do it. I think it's extra protection and make sure it's all safe and tight. And now your pole is set up, ready to put your array speaker on the top of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this pole right back here in view. And so everything's tightened, everything's ready to go for your array speaker. So let's jump to the array speaker now. So like I said, hopefully you've seen this video and you already have this put together. This is the array speaker all put together. Notice it does have the support bracket and the tension knob too to tighten this onto your pole. I always stick my thumb in here and just make sure that that screw is screwed out so it's not gonna scrape your pole up. I've done it plenty of times. You're gonna have that metal on metal scratching or you're gonna scratch up your poles really bad. We do it all the time anyways, but just try to save them a little bit and I always just do a quick check, make sure that that screws out. Also, it's also embarrassing if you try and that screws all the way in and you're like whacking the uh, speaker down on the pole. So just check it and make sure it's going to slide right on. All right. So that is on. And now once you have it set up to where you want it in the direction you want it, go ahead and tighten that down. I'm not going to do that because I want to just be able to move it so I can show you how to put these cables in really quick. So. All the cables are provided guys. So this is like the one foot cable and you're gonna go ahead and plug this into the speaker. You can go any way. You could actually crisscross, you could do whatever you want, but I'm just for the sake of this video telling you to go ahead and put it on one side or the other. I'm gonna go 
on the far side here and I'm going to connect one speaker to the other speaker. That's all you need to do. And now these speakers will be connected. And now we're going to go to the long cable. Now with the long cable, now like I said, depending on which side you picked, like I said, you can go with the left or the right, however you like to do it, but this is the way I'm doing it. It, it it'll still work, but I'm just saying for the sake of the video, connect it either left or right side. I always want to go to the closer side when I have my final cable because one, it's going to leave your cable closer to your pole so you can connect the cable to the pole, which I would suggest doing to give yourself a nice clean look. So use some cable ties, use some Velcro strips, uh, use some clamps or something that uh, you can buy and that way you have a nice clean look when you're putting that uh, setup up. But Yes, you will take your long cable and you could plug it into the top or the bottom. It doesn't really matter, but like I said, you'll save yourself a little extra cable if you go from the bottom. Once you have that clamp uh, and secured to your poles and you have your cables all tucked in nice, looking good. If you have scrims, that might help too. Uh, but once you have all that done, then you can go ahead and put these poles exactly where you want them. Uh, everything's tightened down. Uh, you're going to tighten everything down, secure everything down. You can go ahead and pick those poles up and you can move them, adjust them however you want on your uh, setup at home or on your dance floor, wherever you're going to be putting these speakers. You can pick them up and move them where you need to get going. Once you have that, you're going to have two quarter jack cables. Let me grab these. You're going to have two quarter jack cable guys and you're going to have these ready to go to your powered sub and you are going to have to plug them into your powered sub for this ProRec system. So you're going to have these and I will show you in the next segment how to hook these to your powered sub and you're going to be ready to play music here really soon. And I also show you how to hook up that music device to the system as well. So let's go to the next system and show you how to get everything hooked up. Second half of this video, I want to show you guys really quick the video on how to hook this thing up. This is the ProRec Club 4000. Super sweet, has a bunch of connections and easy to install, get ready uh, and get ready for your gig. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I always get the questions on how to hook up a few devices. So I thought I would go ahead and show you guys how to get that done. All right, so pretty simple. It's gonna be on the floor, of course. I have it propped up just so I can show you a little bit better how to get to everything. First of all, you're just gonna, of course, plug it in. So you have your, uh, your AC input here. You're just gonna go ahead and plug that right in. and. It, Make sure it's all the way down pretty simple next over here these are coming from your two speakers okay so you have a left and a right speaker these are your array speakers these are the cables that were provided for you and your speaker inputs are right here so these are going to be for a left and a right um, for your passive array speakers okay so you just hook them up accordingly they just slide right in and technically this thing is ready to play some music so if you wanted to now you would just fire it up and you could connect straight through bluetooth we'll turn it on and i'll show you that real quick with the bluetooth first um, so you just turn it on and you're going to go ahead and put, press your mode button and it's going to go it's going to go to bluetooth you heard that ding because i've hooked this up before it automatically connected to my tablet which i have next to me which i'll show you a little bit later um, but we're already hooked up, ready to go you're that fast. You're ready to play some music through Bluetooth, okay? We're gonna go ahead and shut this down real quick because I would never hook things up while I have it on. Um, you don't want those crackle pops, that type of thing. So, but it was that easy to hook it up to Bluetooth and you were ready to play music. You heard the, the chime and it was that easy, okay? So the next most way that people are gonna be using this is if we wanna physically hook it up to a tablet. So. Once again, this was my tablet. You hook it up. You heard it hook up through Bluetooth, but now you want to maybe hook it up through a cord. So you have your 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, and we'll go ahead and hook it up that way. Okay, guys? So I'm going to just show you really quick all the uh, hookups, and then we'll go ahead and hook it up. So down here, you're going to have your outputs. This is only for power devices. So if you have a powered speaker or a powered sub, these out mix outputs are going to send a signal to that unit and then you're going to be able to hear music through it. So if you wanted to hook up another powered sub, if you wanted to hook up another powered speaker, you would use these outputs. It's not going to power speakers. It's not going to power passive speakers. It's only going to uh, send a signal to powered speakers. So not passive speakers, powered speakers. So it's only going to send a signal to those speakers. 
Okay, so then you have mic inputs right here. You have two mic inputs, quarter jack or XLR, it'll accept. Uh, it won't power your microphones. You can't use like condenser mics, that kind of thing. But it will uh, have for your two microphones. You have a volume for your volume. Sorry, you have a volume for your microphones and you also have a little bit of echo feature. These are gonna be your inputs. So you're gonna have uh, an aux input, which is really cool. I love it when they put them on there. It makes it super simple to hook things up. But you also have combo jacks, quarter jack, and XLR, and you have RCAs. I love RCAs as well. Um, Bluetooth volume right here, master volume here, volume for your subwoofer. You can cut the sub completely out and just have a raise, or you can add some sub to it. Volume there, and you have hertz level for your sub as well on the very, very top. Not going to get into everything uh, crazy. I'll do that on my full review, but just so you know where everything's at, it's there, guys. All right, so you want to hook up that tablet, that phone, uh, the laptop. This is how you would just easily do it. 3.5 millimeter jack, two 3.5 millimeter jack right here, and go right into your aux input. It's that easy, guys, uh, and you're ready to play music. Um, pretty, pretty simple. But say you want to go a little bit more complicated, you want to get a controller in there, take this Impulse 200, and RCAs, so this has RCA inputs. You would just go right into the RCAs, guys. Pretty simple, and then you would, of course, take your controller and you would plug that USB right into your, con uh, sorry, right into your laptop, and then you have a controller, a laptop, uh, and you're gonna be playing music through those RCA inputs. Pretty, pretty simple, guys. And the last way that I'll show you guys, if you guys are, a little bit more up there, a little high tech. You got way crazy rain, uh, tractor, um, Serato uh, mixers, and that type of thing. Um, some Den and DJ stuff. Um, you might have XLR inputs. So we have a Den and DJ Go up there, and you see the XLR inputs there. You would just take your XLR cable, and I'll just show you one cable here, guys, just for the sake of making a super long video. But you would. According to the cables, you would plug your XLR cable in to your mixer or your controller, whatever it is. A lot of controllers have those as well. Uh, and then you would just take your other XLR and go right into your according um, left or right input, okay? So from your mixer to there, and you could hook up that way as well. You know, and of course I have different colored cables here to know, signify left and right, but, and then this would just go to your mixer or your controller that you're hooking up and boom, then you're hooked up that way. So many ways you can hook this up. It'll work with everything out there. Um, quarter jack, XLR, um, 3.5 millimeter jack RCA. There's a lot of ways to source into this system. Okay, very very cool. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that, guys. And I think that's about it, guys. This is uh, just wanted to kind of show you how different ways you can hook this up. Uh, no problem uh, hooking, you know, any kind of item in there. Uh, definitely can take XLR quarter jack 3.5 and RCA so uh, last but not least of course you you know not super hard but if you want to hook up a microphone guys it'll take XLR or quarter jack let me grab my cable here got caught and right here so I have a microphone quarter jack and that would go into my whatever microphone I want to put in. I could do mic one, mic two, it does not matter. And, you know, I can turn it on off here and I can also adjust the volume to cut it as well if I wanted to do that. So very, very easy. So this kind of acts as like a mixing board or a power amp, however you'd like to call it, but this could be an all-in-one system. Uh, you don't need, um, you know, that mixing board or mixer, you can get everything done here. Um, sometimes it helps to have that kind of thing, a mixer, so you can have more sources and that type of thing, but definitely will work. Um, another thing I want to point out is you can hook up multiple devices at one time, so it almost 
is like having a couple channels. Uh, I could have something in the aux and something in the RCAs and I'll be able to get the sound from that. So that's very, very cool as well. Other than that, guys, I think that's it. Uh, thank you guys for checking me out. I'm gonna switch really quick angles and we'll finish up the video. Thank you. All right, guys, so thanks for tuning in. It's been Midwest Raider. This is a quick tutorial uh, info how to get everything hooked up to that Pro Rec Club 4000. The next video, guys, will be the complete review on the Pro Rec Club 4000. I also give it a small little sound test on it as well, guys. So thank you guys for tuning in. It's been Midwest Raider. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Hope this was all helpful for you guys. And more to come on the Pro Rec Club 4000. Complete review, my thoughts, and a sound test, guys. Coming up in the next video, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification button so you know when that Pro Rec Club 4000 video comes out. Thank you guys so much. And we'll talk to you guys later. Midwest Raider.